Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself from group 6 to discuss the classification, morphology, and life cycle of two parasite species namely Botryocephalus sp and Eubotrium sp And this is a member of this video There are is Matus Dia Anggraini Rizky Endahwarni Agung Satrio Bayu Firda Agnesia, Dila Rizky Alvidianti, Buyung Raga Ardian, and Sadida Anindya Bahtiar. The first we will discuss about Botryocephalus sp. For classification, about Botryocephalus sp is Kingdom Animalia, Pilum, Platyhelminthes, Class Gestoda, Order Pseudopilidea, Family. Botryocephalidea, genus Botryocephalus, and species Botryocephalus sp. And this is for the morphology. The species has no, has a number of proglottid around 70 with segment strobia. The body tapers to the anterior and posterior parts. Heart shepherds collects with apical discs and a pair of silt potria. Male reproductive system in the front form of testicle shape like a ball located in the medulla. Female ovarian reproductive system located on the posterior side on the body segment. The key to, ident to identifying this species can be seen from the form of number and proglottid collex. And this is a picture of the parasite Botryocephalus sp. For number 1 is total view. Number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are collectors or dorsal and ventral view. 7 details of reproductive organ. 8 mass mature and first and first Graphite proglottids tested omitted in the graphite segment. Nine is is a graphite segment that's on left side omitted. Now we will get to know the life cycle of Botryocephalus sp. That has a simple two house life cycle involving planktonic copepod or copepoda tislopidae as an intermediate host in variable condition the life cycle move be complete in about one moon exit base adult parasites into the gut lumen are released into the water what water phases depending on water temperature an embryo sick hook on cosperior hexagon is formed within the egg in a few days. The, lar the larva coraxidium is, is surrounded by ciliate cell which enable its active movement in the water after hatching from the egg. And this is a host that can be infected by Botryocephalus sp for freshwater fish like Ramdia guatemalensis, Chislasoma uroptalmus, and Ciprinus carpio. Now for the predilection and damage caused by this worm infection. 1. Salmonella sp. Parasit can infect the dig the digestive tract on fish, especially in the anterior parts of the intestine. 2. This parasitic infection can cause fish death to 100% in goldfish hatchery. 3. The attack on the intestine, intestine can cause intestinal tract obstruction in fish pathological chains and decrease fish growth and this is a picture of the damage that the first cause 1. juvenile infected carp 2. 
surgical intestine of infected goldfish. 3. Pathological change in the form of hemorrhage. And 4. Pathological, pathological change in the form of necrosis. And then this is the reference we use for the parasite Botryocephalus sp. And now we move on to the second parasite Eubotrium sp for classification. Morphology has a width and long turbula and purple teeth. Have sheer shakes below ovaries, having a quality of isolated macules resembling fiber in internal organs. The length of the parasite can reach 75 cm in the species Euphorium classroom. The key to identification the species can be seen from the form of number and prokaryotic skulls. And this is a picture and part of Eupotrium sp for figure 2.1. Letter A and B are skulls. Figure 2.2 is part of the cross section of mature prokaryotic of Eupotrium sp. And figure 2.3, letter A, A and B are X. C is on spare, liberated from an X, and D is metaceous to it. And for the host and predilection, this parasite is often found to infected salmon. Predilection live in the digestive tract, especially in the intestine of fish, in the pylorus and end of intestinal castum. Eobotrium sp in the parasite infection can cause shock effects, reduction fish growth, interfering with fish swimming movements. Reduction the ability to adapt to seawater and increasing susceptibility to environmental pressure. For its life cycle, the reproduction of parasites with several hosts in their life cycle is expected to depend on the abundant pressure of as before the result of eggs or larva. Hence, Eubotrium with rib eggs shall occur, with, occur when intermediate host copepods are most abundant. And additionally, recruitment for the marine Eubotrium sp with a development time of about 50 in days in the scopepod would be the presence of a high number of the final hosts, salmon salar and salmon trout in the sea if the like if the life cycle could only be completed in the marine environment the best period for X result would be when the sickly mature salmon migrate to coastal water where copepod number are right. And this is the reference that we are. That's all the explanation about parasite Botryocephalus and Eupotrium sp. Thank you.